So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing back together. One thing I highly, highly encourage, or discourage, I guess, try to keep, or I do encourage this, but try to keep, keep these uh, rubber mount pieces inside of this casing. Because if they come out, it's very, very hard to remember where they go back into, so yeah. Anyway, there's you some specs on the hard drive in case you're interested. Um, maybe I should do it that way so you actually can see it. Yeah. So that's what the label looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Let's go ahead and start with this metal bracket here. So it's not all plastic, it does have a little metal bracket here. Um, so go ahead and insert this, or insert. Uh, put it on, make sure you line, up, line it up with the screw holes, which... Right about there. And kind of hold it in place. So once you have it lined up with the screw holes, take a screw. I'm pretty sure these are about the same size. Uh, and start securing it. Okay, uh, once you get those screws back in, um, now it is time to do the actual, I guess you call this an interface board. So, all you gotta do, on the actual hard drive, look, locate for, look for this little plug here, and go ahead and plug this hair thing into that. That. Okay. So, like this. Just like this. Just like so. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, just plug it in, make sure you get it in there straight, and push. Make sure it's in there all the way, in this case, which case it is. Uh, so I was just going to do a double check with a little extra pressure, a little extra force. And then go ahead and get these hair screws, and uh, um, screw these here in. Secured by a lot. Yeah, you put them where I'm screwing right now. Right, that one's in. And Western Digital did give these a little extra torque, so go ahead and give it just a little extra torque because um, Western Digital, when they put these things together, they screw these screws in really tightly. Don't let you know batten down the hatchets, but once they stop, go ahead and give them just a little extra, a little extra turn. Very, very little extra amount. Like, I'll show you here with this here one. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead and... When... Are we going in? Yeah, yeah. When it stops, this, uh, give it a little extra turn. Just a very little extra, very little turn. Give it maybe like half of a half of a quarter turn just to make sure it's in there nice and tightly and do the same for these here too because those are in pretty tight as well okay so we got the whole hard drive assembly back together it's time to go ahead and mount this inside oh whoops some of the rubber is falling out inside of this thing alright so if your rubber does fall out um I'll just you know what I'm gonna do I'll just take it out just to be fair. So you got these four little rubber pieces here. I hold it in. It feels like foam, but it's believe me, it's rubber. You can tell because it's actually the same material that the feet of the actual hard drive casing is made out of. So um there's these little uh hold on. You can tell if it's misplaced, if it seems to be in there a little slanted. Um, so something needs to be swapped about, but I'm not sure what. Um, but I'll be back when I get it in there. I think this is the proper arrangement. Um, this one is a fattish one. This one down here, oh, also the controls are right there, so now you have a 
thing. This one that's you know closest to the controls is fat on both parts. This one has a fat part and a skinny part. This one here has just this weird sort of flat thing on it. And this one here has a shelf because it has to grow into a very thin part. Um, so once you get that, you can try putting it back together now. Try putting it back into its mount. Let's see how it works out. Just hope and pray that it all goes smoothly. It's just hard. It is kind of hard to get it back into the these rubber things or whatever they are. I think it's supposed to do it from the top because there's these little things in the bottom. Yeah, this... Yeah. Okay, um... Once you finally get the hard drive in uh, there properly, it's, uh, trust me, it's incredibly, like, really, really hard to do, but, you finally did it, uh, you can go ahead and, go the next step, so let's go ahead and flip it over, and just double check everything, make sure it's in there, nice and straight, which it is, okay, so you're going to want to come over to this side, here, alright, and what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to take this black piece here okay and what you're going to do is you're going to take the power light set along with two of them and you're going to put them into the spot with two, the two holes right there so just put it in there with them facing downward push them in all the way slip them in and then just kind of slide this right on there. Okay. Just like that. Put it around that there. And then get that in there. Okay. And then take this one which is the gauge kind of slip it in there there's these little these little things on the side here they actually fit into these little um, areas that you need to slid them into first um, so it's kind of slit I guess you can slip it into the holes a little bit and then just kind of get it in there just kind of push it in through there and there you are the lights are now installed uh... make sure everything's in there nice and snugly and i think those are supposed to go right on top of that okay and the final step is to put this on, uh, figure out which way it goes. Alright, sorry guys, my uh, memory card died, uh, or red, got full. can't remember exactly what I was talking about, but I did just now think of something that you might, might want to do. Um, well this is basically, take a label maker or something, turn it on, then make yourself what the heck? My little sister is playing with this again. <sighs> I swear it's stupid. Okay, anyway. Then go ahead and make... Type in one. Alright, and then do like... Triple space or something. And then do two. And then three. And then four. And print that. Alright, now, what you can do with these, is you can 
cut them with some scissors and then tape them onto those rubber pieces um, so that way if you ever do need to get inside of here again to do something with to you know do something with it on the inside of here um, you know where the rubber pieces go uh, so yeah so what I, what I do I would label this one one and this one two this one three and this one four all right, so all you have to do is just take these little labels off and put them on. Uh, so yeah.